What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? It's just Kitty Boy Radio. Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. Today, what we're going to be doing is transplanting our germinated seeds from our paper towel towel experiment. Yes, you guys. We're going to be transplanting those seeds. I'm going to show you exactly what they're doing right now. And that camera wanted to beat for some reason, and it's not even on, but hallelujah! Thank you, Lord, for the beat. Uh, I just want to say, I hope you're having a blessed day. I hope you're living well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your family, your loved ones, your friends are all doing well. Okay? Because some people are going through a whole lot in the world today, you know? A whole lot. We can't even imagine Maybe some of you can, but I've never experienced losing nine friends at one time, you know, to a horrible crash or, or anything like that. You know, I've lost a couple of friends in crashes and things like that. I've been crashed myself, could have lost my own life, but thank God that he spared my life. I'm here for a reason, and I hope you guys feel the same way about yourself. I love you. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you just for being alive, Lord. Everybody don't make it and i'm just gonna do this video for you guys real quick you know i like to show you everything so here we go um we're gonna be using our sterilized containers remember you guys sterilize your stuff that is so true because the seeds we planted earlier um uh, not a few days ago but in the greenhouse I, I saw the bugs, the gnats that everybody was talking about, and I had never seen that before because I really didn't look that deep into the soil to see if anything like that was happening. But I do see it. So what we're going to do is show you from beginning to end of how to plant your seeds and how to germinate your seeds with paper towels. If you don't have paper towels, use toilet paper. It's going to do the same thing. Just take your time when you pull it apart and a Ziploc bag. If you don't have a Ziploc bag, use a grocery store bag that you get from the grocery store. Just double it up because sometimes they have holes in them. So let's go ahead and get this video started. I'm going to show you from beginning to end. I want to put this over here. It's all about the video and the action that we're doing. So here's my container. I sterilized that as well. Let me go ahead and get into this video, y'all. I sterilized this as well. And we're going to use that burpee seed. And I use this for my uh, things that are growing right now. And I really like it, y'all. I really like the burpee seed starting mix. Organic. Natural and organic seed starting mix. It's supposed to make eight quarts. And it's easy to use. You just pour water on it. And I have boiling hot water over there. And yeah, you just let it grow. You've seen my videos before. Also, take your containers. Even though I've sterilized them one time before. I, like I said, I want to show you everything. Dip them in that boiling hot water. That you use. <clears throat> that you boil. Put them in there. Because they're already clean. So this is just boiling hot water to sterilize, sterilize, sterilize. Because the fungus, the fungus, the fungus is among us. You will be surprised how much fungus can get into your items, you guys. The fungus is among us. We're going to use some of our four pots. Save your pots, y'all. And here are some of our taller ones. Put them on in there. Sterilize. Why we sterilize? Because the fungus, the fungus is among us. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And I also have the six tray. You know, the six pot tray. Put that on in there. Sterilize again. Again, like I said, I've already sterilized these. But hey, it doesn't hurt to re-sterilize. And then we're going to um, take our burpee seed. Put it in our container like I always show you. Pour our hot water on it. Just like that. Doesn't take long to start your, gar your garden, you guys. Okay. And instantly, you know, it starts to expand. It starts to expand instantly. See? It does. Not hard at all. You see the water still swishing? 
just put your brick in the water and the package says two minutes so we have to be fair to the package <laughs> we can't expect it to just blow up in one second Ooh, look at that I hope you can see it can y'all see it? oh it stopped but look I just filled up that corner just that fast just that fast Yes, you guys, and this is the Burpee Organic Seed Mix. And I wasn't going to make a video tonight because I just came from my mom's house. My mom's getting married, you guys. Yes, I'm not going to tell her age, but she's been a widow uh, since I've been 16 years old. My father passed away when I was 16, and my mom's been a widow since then. And she has found the love of her life, you guys. She is getting married. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I don't, I'm like, I have to get my mom away. Mm. We're gonna, ugh, we're gonna pray on that. But I love him so much. I love, I love her new Beyonce. Never thought I'd be saying that about my mom. But yeah, so happy for her, mom. I love you. I'm doing this for you. I love you, mom. If it wasn't for my mom, you guys, I wouldn't even speak in front of people. You know, she always encouraged me to be great. And I hope you checked out the Harriet movie. If you haven't, you know your skinny boy Randy has a little cameo in the Harriet movie. I played a Union soldier. They filmed it here in Virginia. And uh, we were down in Charles City, I believe, for my scene. I played a Union soldier at the end. And if you want to check it out, it's on my Facebook. Yeah. Cynthia Irville was a wonderful, great person to work with. She was awesome, you guys. So... Check it out. If you haven't checked out the Harriet, it's the story of the uh, Harriet Tubman. You know, she helped freed a lot of slaves and she was a pioneer and just, you know, for equality and peace and love. And I didn't know as much as I knew, as I thought I knew, until the movie. So you guys, as I always told you, with these uh, cocoa cord, well this is not cocoa cord, this is the burpee. You can save the rest. Okay? So, now comes the fun part. And with this soil, you guys, as we do our succession planting, we're not going to add, we're not going to add any um, vermiculite, 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 whatever you want to call it. And we're not going to add any worm castings. So this experiment is based off of just the Burpee Seed Starting Mix. Ordered from Amazon, it came three in a brick. I've used it before on the video and it's been doing great. So we're gonna keep going and see how this does without anything. I'm not gonna add anything extra, okay? Nothing extra, just the Burpee soil See, started mix. Okay, so we're gonna sit our soil over here for a second. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's look and see what we got in our paper towels, you guys. You remember we germinated these seeds a few days ago. Actually, this where writing your dates and your items on the package comes in handy. Although you can put a label on it so you can reuse the bag, but. We're just doing this for fun, okay? Okay! So, we got the Big Jim Chili Peppers. And let me show you what those look like. I want to give you a visual um, while I'm showing you what I'm experimenting with. You know? We're all growing together, you guys. If you try and it doesn't work out, try again. I'm pretty much starting almost half of my seedlings all over again from the greenhouse because... I don't think I did the soil right before. You can't just put you can't just put anything in in your soil and expect your plants to grow. So do your research. Uh, go online, type in what you're growing, and it'll tell you. And the back of the package will also tell you. So this is our big Jim Chili peppers. Big Jim Chili. Big Jim. Use the chili pepper. So 
these are already growing in my uh, growing room. Hmm? I just named my other room a growing room. How about that? And now we're going to plant some more. So these have been germinating in this bag since January the 26th. And as you go, as you know, today is only February the 1st. So it's been five days. Well, today will make six days. So we're going to see in six days how the big Jim chili peppers germinated in our paper towel experiment. Okay, you guys? Okay. So let's go. I'm going to open it up. You know, I love to show you guys everything from start to finish. So let's gently slide out our paper towel. And I hope you guys can see everything nice and clear. I hope you can. And this shirt I got when I went to the Great Smoky Mountains, you guys. This was in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I had such a great time. Let me pull my hair back. But yeah, I love this shirt, you guys. We went to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And I got this shirt and I love it. It's like a tie-dye, but it has the... The, the Great Smoky Mountains on it. And it's just as beautiful out there as this shirt is. I loved every minute of it. Okay, so let's see what we got. Again, let me put this here while I'm doing it. So you have a reference to see what I'm doing. The Big Jim. Big Jim Chili. <laughs> so let's just unfold our paper towel. Oh, this in. Here we go. Just be careful, you guys. Gardening takes time. You know, don't rush it. Just take your time. Unfold it. Slide this over a little bit. You'll see. Big Jim Chili Pepper. And let's see what we got. From Big Jim. Because you know peppers take a while to germinate. Okay. Now. This is the perfect example of. How to tell good seeds and bad seeds. Now look at this. I hope you can see this one here. See that root? How quickly it germinated and this one here how quickly that one germinated I have about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen four five sixteen seeds in here and two have germinated by themselves the rest have not again this is valley green odor from Amazon pepper big gym medium hot I'm about to order me some Baker Creeks and yeah because when I order these seeds you guys I'm gonna be honest I I'm a cheap gardener I don't spend a lot of money on my garden I've already told you that I don't do that so we try to work with what we have but we're gonna take these two seeds that have germinated okay and since these are my pepper seeds, we're going to use, and it's only two of them, you guys. So let's just go ahead and put them in one of these tall containers so we can grow two in one. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to scoop up some of our burpee soil. Scoop up some of that soil. Press it down, you guys, to fill the corners. Because I've also learned that you want to make sure that your base is good and stable. At the bottom of your container. Okay? You want to pack it down to where nothing can get through there now. Come on, man. You know, you don't want to pack it down like that. You don't want to put nobody in the lockup. You just want to have it 
a nice foundation. Okay. Then put some more dirt on top of this. Because our first layer is already packed down. So you don't want to pack your second layer. Just you just want to put that, you know, make sure it's all the way around the corners. No air pockets. No. You want the the seed to think that it's really in the ground outside. More dirt. Soil. I'm always saying the word dirt because that's how we grew up saying the word dirt. But in gardening, I guess we should use the term soil. Soil. Yeah, soil. Okay, so this container is nice and full, you guys. And I just want to make this video. I'm going to show you the um, the seeds that we germinated in there. Ziploc bags. I'm not going to plant every single one for the video. And here we go. So as you can see. I put this in there like that, got it down in there, and we're going to take the two seeds that did germinate, and be very, very careful, you guys. These are so tender, tender, tender. I didn't want, oh, I didn't want to hurt it. You see that? That's a... Uh, that little teeny thing, that's a big gem. A big gem chili pepper. All right, it says medium hot. So it's not hot, hot, it says medium hot. But this is a big gem chili pepper that we germinated in our paper towel. So what we're gonna do is take big gem. All right, and we're gonna sit big gem right in there like that. And we're gonna take his brother, Big Joe. <laughs> Just kidding. Be careful. Be careful when removing it from the paper towel. They're very, very, very delicate, y'all. And just take your time. You don't want to break that root. And there's Big Jim's brother, Big Jew. Okay. Okay. So we got Big Jim and Big Joe, y'all. You see him in there? Just like that. That's Big Jim and Big Joe. I'm going to put one over here. I'm not going to even poke a hole in it. And I'm going to put one over here. I'm not going to even poke a hole in it. But what I am going to do to cover the root, just take a little bit of our burpee mix. Just a little bit. See that? And pop it right over there. Just it. That's it, y'all. That's it. Don't don't pack it down. Don't press it down. Just just put that little bit of soil over top of it. You see Big Joe? You see the root and the seed? The seed never moves from its original location. Just take a little bit of more dirt and pop right over Big Joe. Just like that and smooth it over. Smooth it over. Don't press. Don't do anything. If you see a little bit of Big Joe sticking out, put a little bit more dirt on it. Because these seeds are still germinating. They're birthing themselves. And the plant will get the nutrient from the seed for as long as it can. Okay? And peppers take a while, you guys. So these are our big gem chili peppers so we got big jim and big joe in here y'all and what i'm going to do is take my container and put it back into this ziploc bag right i'm going to put it back in here and i just came up with this idea as i'm doing this video y'all I, I just thought of it and i want to refold this paper towel Here's our little water bottle. Give it a little spurt. A little bit more moisture. Because we don't give up. Just because everything don't germinate as soon as others. Don't give up. Just give it time. You know? Give it time. 
one twin is born before the other. So I'm going to put that in there with that. And our big gem chili pepper. Okay. So I'm just going to fit this right there. Fold it like that. And I'm not going to let the package get moist y'all I'm just doing that for the video purpose now let's see we have our Keystone giant peppers now these are the big green peppers so let's see if we have anything going on let's see if we have anything going on and if you want to just take your seeds out first to see what you're working with so you know how many containers you need if you need the four pot if you need the six pot it'd be nice if we get one uh, paper towel with the six pot or if you just need the one pot if you just need the one pot you know you never know what you're gonna need <clears throat> excuse me so let's unfold this one and see what do we have in here these are our Keystone Giant Peppers. One of these seeds is not even in the paper towel. It's on the outside of the paper towel and it has a root. Okay. Okay. So, let's open the others and see. Because we see this one has already germinated. So, let's just sit that to the side. And, again, peppers take longer than most of your other veggies. Okay, we got two. We got two germinating. Right there and right there. So, since we have two, one, two, and three. Oh, this one has a little root on it coming out. Let's go ahead and do a four pack, okay? Let's do a four pack. <clears throat> Fill your container up, press down. Because when you put dirt in the thing, you realize you think it's full, but when you push like that, look, it goes straight down. Cause it's not full. You know, some are, some aren't. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, click the bell, share the video, however you want to do it. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. I appreciate you. And these little four packs, you, to, you gotta press them down, y'all. Cause it looks like they're full. And then you go to press it and they're not. So make sure you press all the way around. Look how deep that one went. And it looked like it was full at first. So once I do press mine all the way down. Like that. Because I kind of feel like it's kind of compact. Which is what I don't want. Put a little bit more in there. And see this feels really heavy and compact. I just give it a, a little squeeze. Just a little squeeze. Just a little squeeze all the way around. You know. Nobody wants to be compacted. In more ways than one. So let's take our. Keystone Giant Peppers. Carefully. There's one. There's our first one we discovered. There's two. Here's number three. And that very, very teeny tiny root that I saw come out. We're going to give it a chance. Number four. Okay. And again, I'm not going to push these down in the ground or anything. I'm just going to take a little bit more of our burpee seed starting mix and sprinkle over top of it. 
and smooth it out. The roots will find their way, you guys. Mother Nature is so awesome. God is so good. If you haven't told him, thank him today, please do. Because if you're able to tell him thank you, you should. Because some people aren't able to tell him thank you. And see, I just put a little bit of soil on that. I didn't pack it down or anything like that. Just covered it up a little bit. So let's get rid of some of our excess soil because the seeds are stuck to the... No, we're not going to do that because we're going to have uh, seeds growing. You can leave a little bit of soil in there. Fold it up. Put it, And this is still kind of wet, y'all. So I'm not going to re-spray it with water. Soak that up. We're going to put our container in here. And you guys, I've never done this before like this. I've never, you know, put the container in the Ziploc bag. But now that I think about it, it's a greenhouse, like a little greenhouse, right? So our Keystone Giant, do I have a picture of those? Here we go. This is our Keystone Giant. Peppers, Keystone Resistant Giant Peppers. So for the video purpose, I want to put this in here until I'm done. And then I'll take the uh, seed packages back out, you guys. I'm just doing this so you can see what we're doing. We're going to sit that over there. Okay, what do we have next? Beef steak. Beef steak tomatoes. So let's clear off our working area. And let's see what the beefsteak tomatoes did. Gently unfold our paper towel. Ooh, ooh, I see roots before I even... Ooh, wow. These are our... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. As my grandma used to say, ooh. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Y'all see that? Oh, they all over here. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. And these are our beef steak. So let me show you what the beef steak look like. I kind of ripped my seed package. But these are the beef steak tomato. Again, all of these seeds are from Valley Green. And we're going to see how they do. Okay. So these are the beef steak. And we have a few of these, you guys. We have quite a few of these that have already germinated. You see that? I just want to be careful. How? Oh, look at that. And these have not touched the soil. So, since we have so many, let's count. Oh, be careful. We have one, two, three. Let me get a little closer. Four. Oop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 germinated seeds, you guys. 17. 
and there are more in here that have not germinated this one looks like it's trying but that's 17 seeds you guys so we're gonna double up on some of the cells oh, and there's the other one in the back 18 just gonna fold that back up and let these guys try to do their thing again this is our beefsteak so let's just sit that right there and we have 17 plants to plant you guys so since we have a six pack container as well we're gonna put two in each maybe three uh, I'm gonna put, probably put three in one okay because we have more stuff to plant and this is just for the video's sake and you know we can always thin them out once they get a little bigger so let's just go ahead and fill these up with our burpee seed starting mix fill up the corners you guys make sure your corners are full And I hope you're having a great evening. I have to work in the morning. But I could not go to bed without sharing this video with you guys. Because you've been so good to me. Following me and just supporting me. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So we just took our six pack. And packed it down. To make sure all the corners are filled. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did I touch one of the roots? Okay. Oh, it's heavy, y'all. And look, I keep using my thumb, and look, I keep going down. See? Keep going right on down. You think it's full? And it's not, ooh, look, look how deep that went. I thought this thing was full to the rim. And it's not. But that's okay. Okay. Because that's what we want. We wanted to make sure that it, it fills the cell all the way up to the bottom. No air holes. We don't want space for anything that's not supposed to be there to get in there. Okay. Okay. So we pack that down, and remember again, I said when you pack it down like that, and it's real tight. Oh, oh, this you can just keep packing and packing and keep going down and down and down, 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 down. So put some more, some more dirt in there, just like that, and we're not gonna pack that down. See. Now, again, I take it and I squeeze the bottom, squeeze the bottom, squeeze the bottom. See the dirt come out a little bit? Just squeeze the bottom, just a little bit. Because you do need some aeration, you know, which means, you know, some airflow going through there so the roots can find their way. Now, since these are our tomato seeds and the roots are so long, we're gonna use our finger method and we're gonna uh, just pretty much take my finger to the first rim about the size of that root. Hope you can see, yeah. So, let me smooth this off. Smooth it off real good. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So this is a six pot container, a six cell container, and I put twelve holes, two holes in each container. 
we're just going to gently take our roots and lay them in there. Don't push them in there. Don't press them in there. Just lay them in there. Just lay them in there like that. Just lay them in there. They will find their way. Okay? Wait a minute. Oh, did I do something wrong? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Just lay them in there. Oh, I lost my hole, didn't it? Okay, here we go. Oh, I pushed the dirt over you guys. I'm like, wait a minute. I know I made a certain amount of holes. But just lay them in there. Like that. Some of them, oh, some of them are so long. And you just kind of coil it around and lay it in there. And I'm going to show you these within a day or two, probably a couple of days, and you'll see. You'll see the uh, the results. You'll see the results. You will see results. Uh, missing one over here. Wait a minute. Yeah. Two, two, two. We have another one. Like that. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five and six should be here. Just lay them in there like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have our twelve in there, you guys. And I know we have more. So, again, don't press these down. They're too gentle to be pressed or, or pretty much touched without being, oh, so careful. Just take you some more soil mix and sprinkle over top. Just sprinkle it over top. I know you're like, oh, he covered up the leaf. He covered up the leaf. That's okay. The leaf is already there. She needs a bed to lay in and grow on out. And like I'm, I'm not pressing, I'm just covering it up so that root can find its way. And there you have it. These are the beef steak tomato. Oh, we still have some more beef steak, beef steak, beef steak. How many more? Four, five. We have five more beef steak, you guys. Well, for video sake purposes, let's put. Because uh, I want to show you the other items as well. So we're going to put these back in the soil and let them go a little longer. Can't hurt anything. So let's just put these back in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, that's all of them. And just fold it back up. Make sure there's nothing on here. Put our soil back over there. So just fold this back up, put it back in our container. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Stick this in there like that. Beef steak. Tomato. Again, you guys, I'm not going to let my other seeds go bad because I'm just wanting to show you guys what we have. So our last two packages are, this one is more cherry. Is that cherry? Yeah. More cherry tomatoes, which we've not done. And these are cherry tomatoes. Yeah, because I remember the one that I didn't label was cherry. So all of these planted January 26. Let's see what we got with our cherry tomatoes, you guys. Let's go ahead and get us a um, 
because I can just look in there and see. I don't know if you can see it. I see roots everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up because I know I'm gonna need it. I know I'm gonna need it. Fill this six pack up. Real quick like that. Fill our corners up. And make sure you go around them corners, y'all, because it'll fool you and make you see it, it'll make you think it's full. And then go right on down. Ain't none down there. So make sure you go around all the corners of each cell to make sure your soil is all the way down. And the roots can benefit from that. Because you know when the roots hit the air. They almost died because that's not what they're made for. They're made to be in the soil. Some of them anyway. Okay. So here's our other container. Again, squeeze the bottom. Squeeze the bottom. Yeah, we packed it down and wonder, why are you squeezing the bottom? You just packed it down. I packed it down to fill up all the corners. And you squeezing the bottom will not unfill the corners. It will just loosen up that soil. So your seeds can find their way. So the roots can find their way. Okay. Okay. So. Just carefully unravel our cherry tomatoes. This is our last one, you guys. Because the other pack is the same thing. And sometimes you just have to look at where the paper towel is folded. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So let me move this out of the way so we can see what we got in this one. Cherry tomato. Oh, let me show you what we're doing. Let me show you what we're doing. Our cherry tomato packet. Cherry tomato packet is somewhere floating around. Somewhere floating around. Uh, with the cherry tomato. Oh, here we go. We didn't want to leave you behind, Miss Cherry. Green Valley cherry tomatoes. Yep, just plain cherry tomato. So let's open this up and see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Look at that. Yep, these are our cherry tomatoes you guys planted on January the 26th. Today is February 1, the first. So this is like five days of germination. Five days. And both of these are the same type of seeds. So let's just go ahead and open both packets and pick out our best. Wow, you guys. Mother Nature is so awesome. God is so good. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. You need the goodie. Can you see those? Yep. 
Yep, more cherry tomatoes. So, we have a six pack container right here. Let's just make us some holes. Um, and like I said, this is just for uh, starting purposes. So sometimes I'm gonna get three in there. So I'm gonna use my pinky. I'm gonna use my pinky and go. I'm gonna go. Let's do. Uh, I wanna do this. I wanna do one corner, one corner. Let's do four in each cell. Four in each cell. Which will make 24, right? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I paid a little bit of attention in math class. So we're going to put four in each one of these because these are cherry tomatoes and they probably will grow a little smaller than the Rutgers and the beef steak. Okay. So we're just going to take our time. We have so many of these. I'm going to take our time and put them in there. See these? Take our time and and that was actually two. So that's one, two, and just drop them in there, y'all, because they're still living off of the seed. So the seed will nourish them. That's three, and they will find their way up. Plant your best ones first. That's four. See. Plant your best ones first. Five, six. You don't think, oh, he dropped it. It's under the soil. That's how they started without the paper towel. And just pop, um, not pop them, but drop them. <laughs> pop it, drop it, lock it. Put them right on in there. Like that, don't do a whole bunch of pushing and pressing. Told y'all, don't do that. Don't do it because they're so fragile. You guys, these are the the embryos, like a baby. Okay. And you see, they have roots, so they are alive. And you don't want to hurt our embryos. You don't want to hurt our embryos. And I'm just grabbing the ones that have the roots out and putting them in the soil. Just like that. Just like that. Again, these are our cherry tomatoes. Ooh, look at that one. See that root? It's so small to stick right to my finger. I'm gonna drop two in there. That's okay. And we can always thin. Just pop them right in there like that. And we have space for two more. So let's take these two. Have some nice little root on it, but like I said, you guys be careful. They're so teeny to get stuck under your fingernails. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number eleven is missing. Eleven. And number twelve is missing. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. There's two in there. 
Let's not do that. That's 24 plants, you guys. 24 cherry tomato plants. Now, what you can do, since both of these are the exact same plants, just fold the paper towel over the other, cover it, put it back in the Ziploc, and you see that? Just put them down in there nice and gently because they're still babies. And just take your, take your soil and, and barely just put a little bit on them, y'all. Just, just kind of cover it like that and then sprinkle it over without packing anything down. As long as the roots are not exposed to the air and the light, just let them go like that, okay? Okay. And just spread it out. And those two diamonds mark my spot so I know where my cells are. Okay. And I see a little root right there. Just cover it up. Just barely. Because the roots will find their way down and then our plants will come up. You may even see these come up by tomorrow. Who knows? So there are cherry tomato planting. I hope you guys are growing yourself growing as a person growing your garden growing your community the people around you in your community that's what it's all about live love laughing and loving on each other you guys so there you have it we just made some instant greenhouses and some instant instant planting And we still have more to go. All right. You guys, you caught all that? I hope you caught all that. Okay. Because I can't do it again. <laughs> I love you guys. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You're the best. You know I can never find that stop button. But we're going to keep it moving, right? Here we go. Oh, there it go. There it go. They're going to stop on y'all. They're going to stop on you.